here, catch it in front, it lands there, you pull it off. Um, the first thing I start, and if you're already familiar with that, you can skip forward. The first thing that's very important is the grip, obviously. So if you look at the hand and you have the index knuckle on the heel pad, if you draw a line there, you put that on the second bevel, which is right here, right here. So you line the index knuckle on the heel pad up and put it on the second bevel. So saying this right now, this is the perfect continental grip for the volley. You have to see what kind of student is in front of you if you're a coach and if you're a player you have to see what feels easier. I don't have anything against that if players start with the Eastern grip and volley and get used to that because some players are just good enough to go straight to the continental, some have it easier if they hold the Eastern grip, there's nothing wrong with that, you can tweak it later on. The next thing I found easy with the grip, so this was the using the bevels. And you can as well put the racket under your armpit. And if you come around the racket like this, around the grip, and you tell your students it's like a sword you pull out, it's more for kids. They get a pretty decent continental grip as well. So, um, you know, as I said earlier, you know that you can skip forward. I need to put that out because it's very important. If you do not have the right grip, your volley most likely gonna be finding some difficulties in different situations. Next thing that's very important is that split step. So you need the split step when you come in. You need to come in, you need to split. You have a good base here to push to the right or left. That's very important. Right before your opponent hits the ball, you have to come in low when you run up to the net. When you look at the, uh, in the past, um, Rafter or Edberg, when they came in, right, they, they hit the approach shot and they were low and they split here so they can go in and hit it. So those guys, you need to lower your center of gravity and split to have very much control over what your hands do when you volley. So when you come in, you can have, I have those circles here and let's say we practice the forehand, you get an approach shot Make sure you change your grip after you hit the approach shot to the continental. You run up and split, and then you push from the outside leg and hit that ball. So, a great thing to do with beginner players is, if they're beginner, beginner, if they're kids, for example, you can have the kids, if we're talking about kids, if you're, is it, if that video right now, if you, you, you watch it with your kids, Make sure you can have, be in a ready position here and let them just go from the outside leg forward and clap. And then they go to the other side and they clap. And then make them let, let them have a rhythm, you know, like the Brian brothers used to do that. They were laying here. They used to do all, it's all about rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. And then you create a rhythm. And this is like for the little, little ones. Now you can step it up and let's talk about um, players that are a little bit older and still beginner players, very beginner. You can use those grip uh, catch things I'll show you right so now. So these are those catch things where, you, where the ball sticks on it, right? So you can use those perfectly for this. You have someone in front of you, you're standing here, you go forward and catch it, you pull it off, throw it back, you go back in your position, catch it and throw it back so you could do both hands right or for the back end obviously you go here and catch it in front it lands there you pull it off give it back and you do both sides you can work really good with these things because what we want is when we catch the volley everything is in front of us so when I hit the volley it's it's always in front so make sure that you keep your elbows in front of your rib cage all the time you want to catch you want to catch that ball in front of you keep the elbows in front of your rib catch very important when you volley here is the next thing very important as i mentioned earlier now we have the basics and you catch the ball in front of you you need to always push off the outside leg so when you wait for that volley you split and then you go from the outside leg forward and hit make sure your arms are in front of you the racket head is above your wrist and then when the ball comes, take your racket a little bit back and push forward from that outside leg. Here, and push forward. It's like so many players, they just step and hit like this. 
but you need to make sure it's a unit. When the legs, so you bend, you lay your wrist a little bit back. Now when your legs, when the right leg pushes you forward, if you're right here, you're hitting at the same time. So, so you're one unit. So you use your body to make sure everything is fluid. The same on the backhand, you stay here, you turn a little bit, you have a weight on the outside leg, you go forward and hit. So one good drill to practice that, if you have trouble loading the outside leg, make sure that you have someone back there and they feed you the ball and you can have all the weight on the right leg. You just left, you lift your left leg and then the ball comes and you just push in and hit. The same on the back inside, you put the weight on the left leg, the ball comes and you go forward and hit. So that works uh, really good when, with my students when I have them. When they have problems to go from the right to the left leg, let them put all the weight on the right leg, let them wait for the ball and feel how it feels to already have that weight on the right leg or left leg and, and hit that volley. That makes it a little bit easier and it's gonna give them the fear of what it actually takes to hit the ball successfully over. So 